The concept of sound and vibration as powerful forces has been recognized and revered since ancient times. Civilizations across the globe, from ancient India to shamanic cultures, have long understood the profound impact that sound, frequency and vibration have on the world. This wisdom is deeply embedded in the essence of numerous religious and spiritual teachings. In ancient India, for example, the significance of mantras in Hinduism and Buddhism highlights this understanding. These mantras, often chanted repeatedly, are not mere words but are seen as vibrations that can affect the fabric of reality. Similarly, prayers in Christian and Muslim traditions are believed to harness the power of spoken words, transcending their literal meanings to reach a higher spiritual plane. This ancient knowledge extends beyond spiritual practices. It is believed that sound and vibration were used in remarkable ways, such as in the construction of megalithic structures. Intriguing stories suggest that ancient cultures might have harnessed sound to cut and move massive stones with precision, a feat that continues to baffle modern researchers. The tales of Tibetan monks levitating stones with musical instruments and chants further illustrate this ancient mastery of a vibrational energy. These practices and beliefs underscore a profound recognition that at the core of existence is a rhythmic pulse, a sort of universal vibration which ancient cultures tapped into through their unique spiritual and practical applications of sound. This understanding, deeply rooted in the annals of time, continues to influence modern spiritual practices and piques the curiosity of those seeking to uncover the secrets of the universe as understood by our ancestors. Scientific discoveries in sound frequencies and DNA manipulation. The realm of scientific discoveries in sound frequencies and DNA manipulation presents a fascinating intersection of modern science with concepts that echo ancient wisdom. In recent times, researchers have begun to unravel how sound frequencies can profoundly influence biological processes, particularly in the field of genetics. One of the most remarkable examples of this is the work of scientists like Dr. Royal Raymond Reif in the early 20th century. Reif pioneered the use of electromagnetic frequencies to target and destroy pathogens including cancer cells. His experiments suggested that by identifying the unique resonant frequency of a disease-causing agent, it could be eliminated without harming the surrounding healthy tissue. This concept of resonant frequency, akin to shattering a glass with the right sound pitch, was groundbreaking in its potential applications for medical treatment. In a similar vein, contemporary research has delved into the effects of sound on living cells and DNA. Experiments have shown that certain frequencies can cause cellular changes, leading to the destruction of harmful cells, like cancer cells, in a controlled manner. This research opens up possibilities for non-invasive treatments that leverage the inherent vibrational nature of all matter. Further extending this line of inquiry, biophysicists like Pyotr Gargajev have explored the idea of reprogramming DNA through sound and light frequencies. Garnagev's experiments involved altering the genetic sequence of frog embryos using only vibrational stimuli, transforming them into salamander embryos. This astonishing feat suggests that the so-called junk DNA in our genome, long thought to be useless, might actually hold the key to a vast array of genetic manipulations and enhancements. These scientific explorations into the power of sound frequencies represent a groundbreaking shift in our understanding of biology and genetics. They offer a glimpse into a future where healing and genetic modification could be achieved through the precise and harmonious use of vibrational energy, a concept that marries modern scientific rigor with the ancient understanding of the fundamental role of vibration in the fabric of existence. Historical and supernatural uses of sound and vibration. Throughout history, various cultures around the world have attributed mystical and supernatural properties to sound and vibration often using them in ways that seem magical to the modern observer. These practices, deeply rooted in ancient traditions and wisdom, suggest a profound understanding of the power of sound that transcends mere auditory experiences. In ancient India, for example, the Vedic secrets of sound were deeply intertwined with spiritual practices. The use of mantras, specific chants recited in meditation and rituals, was believed to have profound effects on both the physical and spiritual realms. These mantras, composed of specific vibrations, were thought to be capable of altering reality, healing the body, 
and even affecting the environment in significant ways. Similarly, in Tibetan culture, there are accounts of monks using sound for incredible feats. It is said that through the use of chants, drums, and other instruments, they could manipulate physical objects, including the levitation and movement of large stones. These practices were not just for show, they were deeply spiritual, integrating sound with the monks' understanding of the universe's interconnected nature. Further afield, stories from ancient Egypt and other early civilizations suggest a sophisticated knowledge of acoustics and vibration. There are suggestions that they use sound for practical purposes, such as in the construction of monumental structures. The precise and intricate carvings in some of these ancient structures, which appear to be beyond the capability of the tools available at the time, have led some to speculate that sound and vibration technologies, now lost to history, were once common. These historical and supernatural uses of sound and vibration found across different cultures and eras, point to a universal recognition of sound's power that transcends mere communication. Whether for healing, construction, or spiritual practices, sound has been revered as a potent force, capable of influencing the material and spiritual world in profound ways. This legacy of sound, deeply embedded in ancient wisdom, continues to fascinate and inspire, offering tantalizing glimpses into a world where sound is much more than what we hear. Practical applications of sound for personal well-being. The utilization of sound for personal well-being is an ancient practice that has been embraced and refined across various cultures and traditions. This approach integrates the understanding that sound, in its essence, is a powerful tool for transformation and healing. Ancient practices, particularly those rooted in Vedic traditions from India, have long acknowledged the profound impact that specific sound frequencies and vibrations can have on the human body and mind. Mantras, which are sequences of sounds with deep spiritual significance, are a quintessential example. When chanted, these mantras are believed to resonate within the body, aligning physical and mental states to higher frequencies of harmony and well-being. Meditation and mindfulness practices often incorporate sound as a focal point. The use of singing bowls, for instance, is a common practice in various meditative traditions. The pure, resonating tones produced by these bowls are said to facilitate a deeper state of meditation, promoting relaxation, stress reduction, and a sense of inner peace. In the realm of personal health and wellness, the therapeutic use of sound is gaining popularity. Techniques like sound baths, where individuals are immersed in sound waves produced by instruments like gongs, Tuning forks and singing bowls are used to induce relaxation and promote emotional release. This practice stems from the belief that sound frequencies can influence the body's energy centers or chakras, leading to a balanced and harmonized state. The power of music and rhythm in enhancing well-being cannot be overstated. Listening to music, singing, and even dancing to rhythms can have a profound impact on mood and emotional states. Music therapy an established health profession, leverages this by using music to address physical, emotional, cognitive, and social needs of individuals. Furthermore, the concept of using sound frequencies for physical healing has seen a resurgence in interest. This approach is based on the idea that certain frequencies can positively affect the body at a cellular level, aiding in healing processes and improving overall health. Incorporating sound into daily life for personal well-being is a practice that draws from ancient wisdom and is increasingly supported by modern research. Whether it's through chanting, meditative practices, sound therapy, or simply enjoying music, the transformative power of sound continues to be a valuable resource for enhancing quality of life. Healing techniques and high vibrational environments. The concept of healing through techniques that harness high vibrational energies has been a cornerstone in many ancient traditions with its roots deeply embedded in practices from cultures around the world. This ancient wisdom, often aligned with the teachings of Vedic secrets or similar spiritual philosophies, revolves around the idea that the universe and everything within it, including humans, vibrates at certain frequencies. By aligning with these higher vibrations, it is believed that one can achieve a state of greater health and spiritual well-being. One of the most prominent techniques in this realm is the use of sound for healing. This involves the application of specific sound frequencies, 
to bring the body's vibrational levels into a state of balance and harmony. In ancient India, for instance, the use of mantras and chants in healing rituals was common. These sound vibrations were considered powerful enough to influence the physical and energetic body, promoting healing and transformation. Another technique involves the use of magnetism or energy fields. This approach is based on the understanding that the human body is not only physical, but also an energetic entity. By applying magnetic fields or hands-on energy work, such as in Reiki, practitioners aim to influence the body's energy flow, promoting healing and well-being. This concept, though ancient, has seen a resurgence in modern alternative medicine, where practices like magnetic therapy are used to alleviate pain and other ailments. The creation of high vibrational environments is also a significant aspect of this ancient wisdom. This involves surrounding oneself with objects and elements that emit high frequencies, such as crystals, certain geometric shapes, or specific types of artwork. The idea is that these objects can influence the energy of a space, making it more conducive to healing and spiritual practices. Many people find that being in such environments enhances their meditation, promotes relaxation, and generally uplifts their mood. Similarly, the food we consume is also considered in terms of vibrational quality. Diets rich in organic, natural foods are often recommended in these traditions, as these foods are believed to have higher life energy, which in turn positively affects the body's vibrational state. Practices like yoga and tai chi also play a role in maintaining a high vibrational state. These ancient disciplines combine physical postures with breath control and meditation, creating a holistic approach to maintaining health and harmony in both body and mind. In summary, healing techniques and the creation of high vibrational environments are deeply rooted in ancient practices, where the understanding of the universe's vibrational nature is key. Through sound healing, energy work, mindful living spaces, diet and physical practices, these traditions offer a holistic approach to health and well-being that transcends time and continues to be relevant in the modern world.